Hi everybody, Mr. Boma from Mr. Boma's Balloons, and this is Jack. Uh, last year I showed this guy in a video and I kind of showed his structure, but I didn't do a step-by-step -step tutorial. So I thought this year I'd go ahead and I would film that tutorial. However, there are a few differences between this one I'm showing you right now and the tutorial that I'm about to show you. The first thing is the head. In the tutorial, I underinflate this balloon a lot. You're doing a marriage twist with this, and that can be a very tricky maneuver, especially if you're new at it. And so the more underinflated this is, the easier it is to do. So I really, really underinflated in the video. But if you are good at the marriage twist, or if you get good at the marriage twist, um, then go ahead and inflate this a bit more than what I show in the video. It will be rounder. It will give him uh, a slightly nicer looking head. Uh, the second thing is, I thought the arms were too long in that tutorial. And so I've put a loop twist at the end of each of the arms just to eat up a little bit of that balloon. It gives him a little bit of a cuff on his sleeve uh, and just makes the arms a little bit shorter. The third thing is, I didn't really like those hands in the video either, so um, these are different hands than what I'm going to show you. And there are a couple of twisters here on YouTube who do hands that are similar to this. So I will put a link down in the description below. I believe one of them is Shy Twister and the other is Dan Mask, if, I am, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. And they have hands, they're not exactly like this, but they are very similar. So I'll put that link down below. All right, let's go ahead and get started and show you how to make Jack. Okie doke. Um, we are going to start with a five inch round and two white 160s. I'm going to take one of the white 160s and inflate it. Oh, not that much. You, you need probably less than a foot. Um, I'm, I'm guessing maybe eight inches worth of that we'll actually use. The other one we are going to leave deflated, but we need the end of this. We're going to use it, um, you, can, you can use a scrap instead when you make your marriage twist, but we, we need the extra 160 anyhow, so we'll just use that and then cut it off and use the rest of it in our sculpture, if that makes any sense. You'll see. Okay, uh, inflate your 5 inch round all the way and then let out, that stretches the latex a bit, we're going to let out the air until it's about the size of my palm, about baseball size. Okay, now when I tie this, I tie it a little funky. You can do this however you like, but the way that I do it is I take the balloon, I wrap it around my two fingers, wrap it around, and then it goes behind, goes behind the nozzle there, and up between the two fingers. And then I'm going to pull this bit over that nozzle. But before I do, I'm going to take the nozzle from the 160 and I'm also going to hold it between those two fingers. So I shove that in there as well. And then when I pull this, when I pull this over, it's going around both of those. Okay. And so what I've done is I've tied them together just like that. Okay. If you want, you can tie them together again, but I don't think that's necessary. Okay, we're going to do our marriage twist, so we're going to take this mess here. Um, I'm actually going to squeeze the balloon so that I get most of the air down here towards the nozzle end. And then I'm going to push in. And I'm going to grab on the other end, there's a spot right there. Maybe you can see it where there's a little bit thicker latex. I'm going to try and grab right there or close to it. And give that a twist around. Okay, take the end of your other white and wrap that around that knot a couple of times nice and secure okay so I was holding the knot there I wrapped that around a few times and then tie it in place Um, get your cutter if you have a cutter or scissors or if you can tear the balloons tear it off There we go, and we're going to use this later for uh, one of his hands okay. 
Okay, tear as much of that off, cut as much of that off as you can. That is his head. We'll draw the face on later. Set that aside. We're going to do the body now. Take your black 260 and give yourself four to five, maybe even six fingers of tail. Um, I will uh, point out to you that this is a metallic black. You can tell metallics are a little bit pointier at the end uh, when they're not inflated. Um, and they're a little bit longer. The reason I use metallic black is because, or Batalitex or Sempertex, depending on what type of, uh, what part of the world you're in, the company uses different names. So Sempertex, Batalitex, Batalic, all the same. Um, the Qualitex blacks are um, jewel tone. And I don't like jewel tone. They're squeakier. They, um, they're a little stickier. There's more friction, and so they pop more easily. Okay, we're going to make a triangle for his body. We'll start with a pinch twist. This is going to be at his waist. Going to come up about a hand's width. Make another pinch twist. Across his shoulders, we want a little bit less than a hand's width, so maybe three, three and a half finger balloon. You can see it's shorter than the other. Make another pinch twist at the other shoulder. And come back down, again, a hand's width. Make sure that those, try and get them to match as closely as possible. Wrap in there. We're going to make um, coattails. So the way I do this is I give the balloon a squeeze to make this bubble soft. I do a hands width bubble and then give the balloon a squeeze again and about half the length of the other and that gives it that kind of a shape and also because I squeeze some of the air out it's a little bit thinner than the, uh, the other, the rest of the balloon. Okay, same thing, squeeze some of the air out. Same thing again, about half the length, and wrap in. The rest of this we can get rid of. Tie it off. Next we need a 160 black. This is going to be for the arms. We are filling this nearly all the way, about a two finger tail on that. I'm going to do two pinch twists, and that's going to be his cuff. I'm going to give the balloon a squeeze, get the air all the way down to the other end. Okay. That makes this whole thing a little bit soft. I squeeze off a small bubble there and a pinch twist. Okay, that's his other cup. Line those up and find the center and twist. Okay. That center twist is going to go right there at the center of that top bubble. Okay, so hold that there and then wrap in. And same thing here. Wrap in. Okay. That's good. I don't put any twists in his uh, in his arms for his elbows, but I do find about the center I fold them over and I give them a good squeeze and that puts a bend in them. Okay, our next balloon is another black 160. This is going to be for the lapels and a leg. Actually just one lapel and a leg. Um, five finger tail. We are going to break a little bit of this off. Take the end and tie it in at one of the shoulders. 
lay it across, measure out how long you want, about like that for the lapel, and then wrap that in. And then determine how long you want the leg to be. Uh, you can put a put a little bend in there at the knee as well. Loop, pinch twist. If you want to do two pinch twists, I find that pinch twists in 160s come undone a lot more than pinch twists in 260s. So if you want to put a second pinch twist in there, you can. I'm going to save the rest of this and I'm going to use that on his tie. Tie that off. Do the exact same thing for the other lapel and leg. Okay, again, four or five finger tail. Wrap in at the shoulder. Measure off the length that you want the lapel. When you wrap a balloon into a joint like this, and this is what I do a lot, um, I know other people have other techniques. They'll, they'll hold this here and they'll twist everything there. Um, I tend to, I'm a, I'm a wrapper rather than a twister when it comes to these sorts of things. Um, so what I do is I'm, I'm twisting the balloon in this direction. I will keep twisting keep twisting the balloon as I wrap it and what that does is it cuts down on the amount of friction between the balloon as you're wrapping it in there um, and it's the friction that is usually what breaks the balloon or causes it to pop okay I'm going to measure out where the knee goes down to the foot twist our loop Make our pinch twist for the heel, break off the rest. Okay, so I've got those two pieces that I can use to make the tie. Tie that off. Okay, the pinch twist should go in the front. The tails of the coat go in the back, and the legs are coming down between them. The arms should be off to the side. Now we're going to take our head, line it up, decide how high, uh, how long a neck you want, how high up do you want that above his shoulders. And then when you break this off, make sure that you leave yourself enough room to tie the balloon. I'm going to take this and put it right in here, pull it down, take the knot, and wrap it in. Okay, now push this back so that it's behind the lapels. My twist here looks a little bit off center. I'm going to see if I can adjust that. It's not that big a deal, but I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. Okay, there we go. So now that's right in the center. Okay, we'll do the tie. I'm going to take the 160s that I had left and I'm going to inflate them basically all the way. I'm going to let a little bit of air out. I'm going to fold that pretty much in half. I'm going to take this and I'm going to twist it right in the middle. Okay. It's okay if one's a little bit longer than the other, that's not that big a deal. Okay, so again, I'm folding it in half, and I'm folding it in half and twisting at the center. Okay. And do the same thing with the other one. Tie it off. Fold it in half, 
and twist off at the center. Now it looks, you can see that one is longer than the other, that's okay. We will twist those together and then we will set it up when we get it on him. We'll do it like this so that he's got the long ones at the top and the short ones at the bottom. How do we attach this? Um, you may actually want to do this before you put the head in uh, because that neck might get in your way. But we want to take the center bubbles and just put them right around the joint right there. And then you get just like that. Okay, there is your uh, your tie. We just need to do his hands. We've got the two long pieces of 160 left. Uh, honestly, you can do the hands however you like. Um, but he is a skeleton. He's supposed to have long skeletal kinds of fingers. And so what I like to do is I take the end of my my 150 or 160 rather pinch it okay to get a little bend in it and that's going to be the thumb um, I put a pinch twist now I'm going to make um, oh gosh I don't even know how long that is it's a bit more than a hands width bubble and again I put a bend in it I match that coming back down so that gives me two fingers and then I do a third finger just like that up to the top and another one back down so that's his hand okay if you don't like that do something different. Uh, take the thumb and wrap it in at the at the cuff, and then distribute these so that you should have. There we go. You have kind of black, white, black, white pinch twist with the uh, the the hand coming out there. And there's his thumb. Um, often I will only do three fingers instead of four and the thumb. I'll do three fingers and the thumb. Um, but that's what the hand looks like. Okay, so you can do the other hand exactly the same way. And there is your Pumpkin King. I'll draw the face. I'll show you how I draw the face. Uh, but you can go on Google Image Search and, uh, and find uh, a picture and copy it. Um, I'm not actually going to draw now, I just want to show you. You find a, a center point that way and this way, and where those two intersect, you put the two little nostrils. Okay. Then you're going to make one eye here, and you can make these eyes, I like kind of the angry eyes, but if you want to do the round, happier eyes, you can. Okay, so their eyes kind of a bean shape almost. and try and match that over here one of the nice things about his eyes is that they are just all black and so if you find that you need to make one of the eyes a little bigger or smaller or well not smaller one of the eyes a little bigger to match what you've drawn on the other side you can do that go back and and just make it a little bigger okay and then the mouth And that's it. That's how I draw them. Okay, uh, I hope that you like this. Halloween's coming up, so make a lot of these. All right, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.